Hi guys. Um, so what you guys will notice in your packets this week, you got coffee filters. Here's why. For the next, oh, until winter break, I'm going to send home at least one kind of wintry, holiday-y craft every um, week. It's just really two and a half. Um, so that you have fun things to do at home. Um, instead of us having an artist of the month right now, this is what we're going to do. So, I sent home coffee filters because this week we're going to make snowflakes. Um, and this is really good for you if you need to practice cutting or if you just want to make beautiful snowflakes to hang in your house. So, watch. you take your coffee filter. You will need scissors and you may want a pencil or I'm going to use um, you know a sharpie so you guys can see it but you don't need you can just use a regular pencil it's fine okay start with your coffee filter you can do this with regular paper too I like the coffee filters because they're round already and they're um, you know pretty thin but you can make square ones with regular paper you're going to fold your coffee filter in half I crease it See how it is folded and the sides meet each other so it's not um you know i haven't made i've made sure that it's really precisely in half it's not like this it's very precise in half okay, okay now i'm going to fold it again to go with your fraction work in quarters that means i'm going to fold my half in half And again, I've made it as precise as I can. And then I'm going to fold it one more time. And this will make it in eighths. Because I'm folding a quarter in half. So a half of a quarter is an eighth. Okay, what I'm left with is like this pie piece. Okay, now see how there's a side that kind of opens up the lighting is a little weird here but do you see how the side kind of opens up and there's lots of different things like a little book and then there's this part that doesn't open it's like the spine of the book this is the side that you're going to be cutting across so this is the side we're going to talk about the side that is like the spine of the book okay so i'm going to take this and on the spine of the book i'm going to draw what i want to cut so the first thing i want to do and you get to decide this completely I'm going to cut out the middle so I drew a little thing here for where I'm going to cut. And then I think maybe I'm going to, I don't know, I'm just making this up. Maybe I'll do that. Maybe I'll cut that shape out. And maybe I'll do this along this side here and maybe I'll want to do something over here too so I get some jaggedy edges I don't know this is the fun thing is that you can totally just make this up you don't even really have to draw it first you can just cut but I kind of like to draw and plan out my snowflake I'm going to do another little cut here and another cut so here's what I have. See, I've drawn some triangles and some kind of half circles and some other weird um, quadra quadrilaterals here. All right, now put my pen away. And remember, that part's optional. You don't have to draw it. You can just go to town with your scissors. Now I'm going to take my scissors and I'm going to cut where I drew really carefully careful to not cut my fingers so if you want to people online have made all kinds of patterns to make specific snowflakes but I think it's more fun to just make my own because then it's like a surprise to see what it's going to look like I never know what I'm going to get which I enjoy. Okay, I'm going to do my little triangle here. 
And as I'm doing this, it gets a little bit hard to keep my sides together. But I'm going to try really hard to make sure that I'm cutting through the whole thing. So here's my, maybe I'll turn it this way so you can see it. And now I'm going to cut here. Then again, turns out I can't turn it that way and actually see what I'm doing. Sorry guys, not quite as talented as I thought. Okay, there's that one. And then I have this one here. Whoa. It really is getting kind of difficult. But that's why this is such good practice for your fingers. Okay, here's what I have. And I got a bunch of scraps, so I'm gonna wanna definitely clean up afterwards because this would get really messy. But here's what I have. Now I'm going to carefully unfold it and see what my snowflake looks like. Oh, okay, let me try. You put it down and can um, flatten it out. It's a little easier. Okay, here is my flattened snowflake. It came out pretty cool, I think. Every time I make one, it'll come out a little bit differently. And then if I want to hang this up, I can either just hang it on my wall with some tape, or if you get some string or ribbon or something, you can put string or ribbon through here and hang it from your ceiling. Now I also sent you home with some glitter. And it's a little hard to do on these coffee filters because they're so thin, but if you wanted to make one of these out of paper, maybe the coffee filters, you could take some of your glitter and with your parents' approval, because glitter can get everywhere, so you don't want to do this without your parents saying it's okay. I'll tell you what. Yeah. I have a glue stick here. You might have a glue stick or some other glue. I'm going to put a little bit of glue here on this part of my snowflake. And then just a tiny bit of glitter because I don't need a lot. And now I have some glitter on my snowflake. So again, don't use this without your parents saying it's okay because they might want you to keep it in a particular place, like maybe they want you to do it on a tray or only in a particular area of the house, because look at this, guys. Look, whoa, I knocked my whole camera over. Look at my table, how covered with glitter it is already, and that's just from literally just opening <laughs> the container. So it gets everywhere. Um, okay, so that's how you're going to make this kind of snowflake. I'm going to make one more with you guys, and that's out of regular paper, so if you want to keep going after you've used your coffee filters, you can. So, here, you guys can see my quarantine outfit of leggings and a sweatshirt. I was going to hide the leggings from you, but you know, whatever, it's quarantine. Okay, here's my paper. The thing about making snowflakes out of regular paper is that you do have to have it be a square to start with. So the way that I'm doing that, I'm taking a corner and I'm folding it down. See what I did? I took this corner and I folded it down and it's completely straight here. This part here, this extra little bit, I'm going to cut it off. I don't need it. I might use it to make other snowflakes because I could take this piece and make it into, into other squares the same way by like folding this down and having a little square. But I need a square to start with. All right, so I folded it in half. And with this, you have to fold it in half like triangles, not like rectangles. So I have it in half. I'm going to fold it in half again. 
So then I'm taking a half and folding it in half. That makes it quarter. I'm going to take my quarter and fold it again into eight. And then this is like advanced because this gets really thick and hard to cut. Because I'm actually going to do it again. I'm going to do my eighths in half, which makes it into sixteenths. Can you believe it? That means I have 16 little triangles in this piece of paper. This one I'm not going to use a pen. I'm just going to go ahead and cut a little bit. And I don't know what it's going to come out like. I'm just making stuff up. That's really thick. My little, it's like a cross. I do want to make sure on my thick end that looks like the spine, I do need to make sure at least part of that stays connected because otherwise it will all fall apart. So I cut a little hole here, but it is still connected here and here. So I'm not going to cut here or here because then it would all fall apart. But I am going to do a little notch here. Maybe a notch here. Okay, all right. Here's what I got. Now I'm going to unfold it. There's my snowflake. And this one is nice and thick, so it would really, it would be pretty easy to put some glue on this. If I got my glue out correctly. See, I just like, oh, I want some right in the middle, so I put some glue here. I take my glitter out carefully. I might even, if I was doing something like this, I might even put it in a little bowl or container. Because it's pretty easy for me to get, well, it's not really that easy for me, but it's easier for me to get just a little bit out of that tube. But it's not hard to spill that whole thing. Okay, and then I've got some glitter there, and I could do that all over this if I wanted to. So that's one way to make snowflakes. I'm going to put up a separate video. Whoops. I'm going to put up a separate video of a different way to make snowflakes. It's kind of a bonus way, but this is your main way to make snowflakes this week. So... Have fun. You can make your whole house into an awesome winter wonderland. Bye, guys.